Hey there, this is Ronan Dave, and I'm down here in Kyoto. And I am standing in front of a, I guess you could say a rather monumental place. If you ever come to Kyoto and go to any temple that originally was built before the 15th century, you'll probably find uh, on the plaques, uh, markers uh, around the uh, site, or in the brochures, they'll always mention that more than likely that temple uh, uh, or shrine or whatever was probably burned in the 15th century from something known as the Onin War. Where I am today is the uh, site of one of the uh, principal people involved in causing that war. Uh, these aren't it. These are more old looking but more modern homes. Uh, the home that used to be here was a mansion uh, owned by a man who who once owned like one sixth uh, of the country, I believe. Uh, in fact, that's what was, one of his nicknames was Lord One Six. He was a very powerful man. His name was Yamana uh, Sozan, and actually, all that is left of his mansion—well, actually, nothing is left—but uh, just this marker here. Just this marker here uh, represents where his mansion once stood. And it was here where uh, he plotted against his rival, Hosokawa uh, Katsumoto, who, by the way, was his uh, son-in-law. He hated the Hosokawa, uh, Hosokawa family because they held the position of shogun deputy, or kanrei. And that was a very powerful position, and Yamana wanted to boost his own family up. And so whenever he could, he would always try to, um, through originally politics, try to, uh, try to set back Hosokawa at any point in time that he could. Uh, until things finally came to a head in 1467. That was the beginning of what they now call the Onin War. The war lasted uh, over 10 years. Uh, m much of Kyoto was burned to the ground. Uh, so again, that's why when you come here, and any temple that had originally been founded before the 15th century, more than likely got burned because of uh, this guy and his rival, Hosokawa. It, the war started, uh, well, it's hard to say. Uh, the war started kind of over a uh, succession dispute with the Shogun office itself. But really, it was mainly, I would say, uh, Hosokawa and Yamana fighting it out for power. And meanwhile, their allies joined them uh, to see what they could get out of it as well and probably settle old scores with people on either side. What had happened was the uh, current Shogun, Ashikaga Yoshimasa, he originally chose his brother to be his successor. Uh, but then, surprise, surprise, he had a son. And so he changed his mind and decided to, uh, uh, he decided to uh, make his son his successor. Well, Hosokawa, he supported uh, Yoshimasa's brother and Yamana, uh, immediately sensing an opportunity to stick one to Hosokawa, supported the son. But really, as I said, he didn't care either way. And in a strange turn of, uh, turn of events, um, Yoshimasa's brother ended up becoming a general for Yamana. It, like I said, it was, the, the, the war was very strange. People were switching sides. It basically was a precursor of what uh, became later known as the Sengoku period. Sengoku period, the Warring States period, when uh, you had all these... Uh, warlords, daimyos of different provinces fighting each other, almost like they had the, uh, with their own like separate little uh, petty kingdoms. And the Onin War is kind of like what kicked it all off. I don't know if this Buddhist shrine is related with Yamana, but it just so happened to be that Yamana was actually uh, a Buddhist priest or lay priest. Uh, Sozan, Sozan was his uh, Buddhist name, but despite Despite that, uh, he certainly didn't let go of the desire of material possessions and power, hence the whole reason 
uh, Kyoto basically burned uh, in the mid 15th century. Now what's rather interesting, uh, so Yamada and his son-in-law uh, Hosokawa, they were responsible for starting the Onin War, their, um, their, their desire to control the shogunate, which was basically a puppet government. Yet both of them ended up dying in 1473, but the war continued for another four years, and then later branched out into the provinces, and thus started the Sengoku period. Yeah, it's not much to look at. I mean, it's almost nothing to look at, just that one little monument. But it is interesting to think that it was right here on this spot that this man lived and this is where he plotted against his rival and in the process changed uh, uh, Japanese history because well one he he and his rival helped burn down most of Kyoto <laughs> and then set off the uh, series of events that would lead to the anarchy period of Sengoku when warlords were fighting each other uh, defending or trying to increase their territory until finally uh, the process of unification took place uh, under Oda Nobunaga, Toritomo Hideyoshi, Tokugawa, Yasu. And the last Ashikaga Shogun was run out of town by Oda Nobunaga in 1573. But none of that would have happened if not for this man in this house. It used to be a house. I just think it's kind of neat that in this kind of very quiet neighborhood of some cool old looking houses that this small quiet little spot is here that most people ignore and I wouldn't go out of your way to go see this by the way but this that this small little spot right here and yet so much uh, was changed because of what happened here anyway I hope you learned something from that you ever in Kyoto <laughs> Maybe you should drop by, but don't don't kill yourself. Instead, just know that when you look at all those neat shrines and temples and you see burned in such and such time, it was probably his fault. See you.